All right, guys, sorry for the delay. We are live. Team Hyper versus Damn We Are Good. And this is the pistol round. It is live here. And uh, this is DWG's map choice. So map number one underway pistol round already live. I am Sprawl. By my side is Bach. And we are more than excited to get this match started for you guys. <laughs> Wake up, Bach. The match is live. We're live. Oh, oh man, what happened? Already Shifty going getting out. the frag early, gets another one as well, that's Salmo down, Sin responds, but already things swinging towards Team Hyper, SLI going for the knife, Deimos gets dropped by Robbie, and now it's a 2v3, there's a man in sight, that is Toop, Toop goes for the peak, gets Fobless, but Sav was taken out by Sin, Robbie finishing off the last man, that's two for him, two for Sin, the other one going to Fobless, so a chaotic pistol round, catching me off guard as I try to catch some Zs. Yep, 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 but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a T-sided pistol round, so a good start for DWG. This is their map choice, hence why we're seeing Hyper on the CT side. So our map pull is Inferno, Overpass, and Nuke. So Overpass being the choice of Hyper. But we'll see how this first map goes. We've got two Pro 90s on the field. See how uh, that works out, and looks like they're gonna pressure up Banana here, but Sav posted up. 5-7 in hand. No armor other than SLI on the CT side. And we are going to see some aggression here. Sin comes in, gets the first frag. Fabulous with the second Tech-9 in hand. And the bomb will be rotating up Banana right now. Shifty, though. A little shifty. And uh, he's pushed down mid. We'll see if he can get a pick. And he gets a freebie onto Fabian. So some good frags there. Still have Robbie, though, lurking in alt mid. The bombs have been planted. Salmo with his Pro 90 tries to drop Shifty as it's all up to SLI. Yeah, SLI with the P250 in mid is going to get spotted out by Robbie. So, not exactly a decent eco round from Hyper, only getting the one frag on Fabian. Almost got a second one in mid there, but not able to make it happen. Another eco coming for them on Inferno. And we, again, I mean. What can we say about the delays? There's one thing I really want to say. The people at SIVO, they deserve a serious round of applause. A big shout out to Spangler and all of those guys for busting their butts to get these servers back up and running. I know it took a long time, but you know that's the, the nature of updates, guys. So I think everyone owes uh, Spangler a big old thank you. Agreed, and already we see a nade stack up mid. And that was where uh, the CTs were attempting to stack. They had three of their players literally posted up at the very top. So those nades did tons of damage. And uh, the two CTs that opted to work in Banana, they are gone from the field. They've vanished. And it looks like we're going to see these CTs try and get aggressive. So SLI, the last one inside of the B site, with 9 HP, he might just literally die if this flame... Yes, he walked right into it. So two... We'll be able to take down one, but that nade puts him away. And 3-0 to zero is the scoreline. DWG doing some pretty good anti-ecos. And being that they didn't have to pick up, or they didn't rather, pick up all rifles from the get-go, they've got a little bit of money because of those frags. So first rifle round for the CT side, Shifty with the AWP. Yeah, and a grenade and a barbecue kill in the last round. Just a typical Sunday afternoon for the rednecks in our crowd. Just kidding, guys. DWG here picking up that first gun round. Obviously, they want to try and get some uh, something going here. They have an op on Robbie, AKs and the wheels for everyone else. We see Sin working his way over towards apartment right now. He's going to get spotted out by the man in window. That's too a big kill. And that's going to definitely change the pace of the round for the T side now. They've bombed back in mid, and they're just playing picks at this point they're they're not really sure where they're going looks like they're maybe going to make their way over towards b and there is a two-man hold there that would be sav and deimos getting the crossfire and here's that oh so devastating smoke it just buys the ct squad so much time as they're probably going to double smoke it so not a whole lot happening still for dwg and we are already at the 50 second mark in this round and Sav and Deimos, though, they have used all of their smokes, and we don't see any on the rest of the CTs, so an opportunity maybe here to work this B-side play, and that's what they're opting for. Molotoving off that CT side forces the rotate of Sav all the way to Spindle. So they're going to smoke off Spindle, so pretty much shutting down Sav completely. He's having a bad time right now. Deimos, though, working from the second set of oranges, opens things up. 
Fabulous will return though onto Sav and Deimos, he's been spotted once again here. Will peek out, get the frag though. Fabian will have that, but Fabulous will go down to Deimos. So nice double kill from him and Shifty. The nice AWP frag. He finishes the round with that actually, and Hyper fire back on this first rifle round. Important they do so as uh, the economy of DWG was looking pretty darn good. Shifty coming up big, dropping the bomb there, but again, that big play is those smokes at the top of Banana. I feel like I say it every time I watch this map. That just buys the CT the side on this map so much time because they can double smoke late, and by the time the T's got into sight, there was 10 seconds left. They had to stick the plant, basically making it a 1v3 because that man with the bomb is completely exposed. DWG, though, going for a crazy play here, just straight up rushing down mid. The pain train is moving its way towards our side. Shifty gets the first one in Robbie, but he has to fall back after missing his second shot. Flash is going to bounce off the wall, not going to catch anybody right now as they haven't crossed Arch. And it looks like they're actually going to creep their way back. So maybe going for a bit of a fake play here. See what Hyper is going to do to respond. They're going to pick off the rotator. That's Sav. There's a man porch side with the M4A1. That would be SLI trying to peek. They get Toop as well. And all of a sudden, this fake strat is working out wonderfully because the B bomb site is completely open. There's only one player over there. That would be Deimos. He does have an M4, but they're sticking towards A. It's all on SLI here. 39 HP over by Pit. No kit on him, so can't really let that bomb go down. And there he is, he's dropped. So Deimos now on the reteak. A lot of damage done to the DWG player. So this is manageable. So we'll see what he decides to do here in round number five. And we'll find out indeed, as he doesn't necessarily have the same information we do, knowing how lit the T players are here. And hence why we're seeing him just run back and save this weapon. So good play by DWG. They have so many players, literally... Uh, very uh, very early in the round, they had a lot of lit players, but still just sticking together as a pack and getting trades, and they make it work here, so this will be another round for DWG making it work on their T side, and one of their players will go down via the bomb, but not a huge deal, as they will put the CTs back on an eco round, and that's what they were hoping to do. You can make it so they win one, and then you put them right back on the losing bench. Definitely their economy will suffer. So that's what we're seeing here. Deimos, the only one that with an M4 in hand. AK-47s across the board for DWG. We'll see what they opt to go for here as on that CT side, you really can't afford to let the T's get too many rounds, especially this early on. So they're going to have to respond here, but I don't know if this is a round where they're going to be able to as... Like we were saying, only Deimos with a weapon on the field. And Deimos obviously wants to try and open things up a little bit here. Maybe get one, drop an AK for one of his teammates. Although the rest of his team opting not to buy armor. He's going to throw a nice little bank flash off the skybox over. But those players had already fallen back. And DWG is playing this perfectly. Just buying their time, waiting for things to happen. They know exactly what they're facing up against. You don't want to push into that pistol crossfire, the CZ and the 5.7, P250 as well, all very strong at close range. So taking their time is the right move. They're starting to make their way up mid here. Flash coming around towards arch side. Smoke as well from Salmo. But there's a man in boiler, and that man could push out and do some serious damage, and he does take down one. That was SLI dropping Salmo. Sin and Fabian respond, though. Shifty and SLI off the table. Toop goes for a somewhat... Risky peek coming out of boiler room there. So now it is on Sav as the rest of his team has been taken out. Sav gets one more. Robbie one is down, traded out by Sin. So decent eco round from Hyper. I mean, they got the two frags, but that rifle on Deimos really didn't do anything. And unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be seeing a pause as there is a player who is experiencing some issues with his connection. Yeah, it looks like that is the situation here. So Shifty having some loss issues. Claiming he's getting about 70 to 80% loss. Never a fun feeling. That being said, though, um, it's not the server. So think that he's just having some connection issues. He's going to disconnect, reconnect to the server. Hopefully that resolves things. But uh, DWG, a really good start to this first map. Five rounds on the T side and only being seven rounds in. That is a dominant position for them. It is their map pick, so obviously you would suspect that they're going to be doing decent, even though they're on the lesser favored side. But uh, still, five early. I don't think that you ever 
plan to get that many early on. Obviously, it would be optimal. It would be grand, but maybe not the most realistic goal. But they've made it happen here. And Hyper still without very much money. If they opt to buy, which I'm doubting, I think they'll probably be ecoing once here, uh, or once again here. 4,400 on Deimos. Yeah, it, it would be a pretty lackluster force up. And like you were saying, smoke's oh so important on this map as you can literally just lock down sections. Obviously, top of Banana, the most popular area. But uh, we are just waiting for Shifty to get back into the server. And then we will continue on here. Yeah, and I feel like we've had enough hold music at this point. Maybe we should break this match down. Um, I would like to see Hyper not do that straight eco you know they had enough money to buy uh maybe a smoke or a flash you, you don't see a lot of teams do it on an eco they don't pick up anything or if they do they pick up armor or a p250 or 57 there was plenty of uh opportunities for, for them to smoke players off but i i don't understand why they didn't try and get at least one smoker or make some kind of team play they knew what they had why didn't they put the rifle in b and put four man on a that's usually what you see happen and I don't recall if that's what they did. I just know that Deimos pushed up B early, spotted someone out but couldn't get a kill, fell back, and the rest of the team was just sort of disconnected. And that's kind of the theme right now for Hypers. There's a lot of disconnect for their team. And it's maybe not a coincidence that someone is being uh, disconnected right now. And that would be... Who is it that actually had to leave? Shifty. That's correct. Shifty. Okay. So we'll see if maybe they can get a standard or what's going on here. Um, it looked like he was the main AWP for Hyper. So it's a bit of a loss as, or at least that's his positioning on this map. We saw him pick it up right away and he even had some nice frags when they were shutting down on that B retake. But uh, yeah, we're just waiting to see here a little bit about these teams. Uh, some stats coming from Bach actually informing me. He's he's the stats man. So 10 and 0 are both of these teams right now in their open league. So pretty darn decent. These are teams that you want to watch out for up and comers, if you will. And a lot of them, I say up and comers, but a lot of them have been around for quite a while. So experienced players definitely. And uh, should prove to be a good match if we can continue on here. Yeah. Um, um to note hyper you there was a team back in source which i actually have spoken to a lot of the community that plays go most of them didn't play source a lot of them didn't even play 1.5 or 1.6 so a lot of you guys are are fresh to the counter-strike scene maybe hopping over from call of duty or you were just too young to get in on those games hyper x was once a team in uh source which was the version of counter-strike before go came out and two of the players on this team are actually from that team. They were a source invite team for multiple season Deimos, and I believe SLI was the other one, or it was Shifty. I can't remember which. Both played for that team. So they have invite experience, just not necessarily in Go. On the other side of the board, Robbie won, used to play for Team Mythic, who was invite as well. Fablis, Sin, and I think that's it. Robbie won as well, played for Rhythm, who... Uh, Put up a pretty good fight in one of our recent tournaments. I believe that was the Winter Classic. Taking it all the way to the Grand Finals before losing to CLG, if I'm not mistaken, who was at the time playing as Mouse Spaz. So a lot of, lot of experience between these two teams. Just, you know, you might not recognize the names and you think, well, they're open. They're they're scrubs. Because that's the typical moniker is they're not invite. What are we doing watching these? Or, or they're not even P. What are we watching these teams for? There's experience across these teams. They have what it takes to potentially be a threat in this tournament and you can see it by the record you know yeah 8 and 0 and 10 and 0 in an open maybe not necessarily an accomplishment but i would imagine that both of these teams could pull that off in some of the higher tier leagues like intermediate and maybe even main so definitely a lot of talent on both of these teams maybe more so than some of you realize so this should be a very close game i know right now hyper kind of at that disadvantage four rounds down on the ct side but this was not their map selection, so keep that in mind. And it looks like Shifty's back in. And hopefully he can stay back in. So we have unpaused. Round number seven is live here, and we are ready to rock. And it does look like Hyper going for 
an eco round. SLI will pick up a smoke grenade. We'll see where he opts to utilize it. He is an A-side player, so nothing on banana at the moment. But Deimos puts one into Fobless. And that's going to be a nice opening, but Salmo will be able to fire back to Sav. But that was still such a sick one. He just peeks out into banana from Car. And a beautiful frag. So now it's a 4v4, but definitely equipment favoring the T's. Yeah, Deimos doing what Source players used to do is that Deagle buy. The, the Source and, or the Deagle and Source was just ridiculous. In 1.5 and 1.6, it was good, but in Source, it was insane. So it's not a surprise to see him pick up the Deagle. You see it a lot with players that have been around the scene for a while. Shifty is going to push around the corner on Banana and take one out, who is tossing a Molly into sight. But we see the rest of the T team just walking their way in. Robbie won right now. Peeking spindles, and he spots out Deimos, who has that Deagle. Sin right around the corner with him, and F uh, Fabian pushing his way up. So they're going to go for that B take right now. Deimos is going to have to come up big, potentially stop this bomb plan from happening. Goes for the 1D, doesn't get it. So now the T's have control of the site. Fabian sitting behind new box gets spotted out by Shifty over on Spindles. Shifty's going to take out Robbie 1. Meanwhile, SLI is dropped. Sin down to 1 HP. So it's Toop and Shifty versus Sin and Fabian. And Fabian needs to come up big here as Sin is heavily lit. He gets both frags. Shifty and Toop are down. But a good eco round there from Team Hyper. Picking up three kills and almost a fourth. So definitely doing some decent damage to the economy of DWG. And even though their money is stacked to the roof, they can't afford to just give away any of that cash. Yeah, not this early on in the half. Definitely economy. Very important here. If uh, DWG drops any rounds, they certainly want to keep up that pressure and rebuy. So, like you said, very important to get those frags in. But uh, DWG moving up to 6-1. to one, And that is a very impressive scoreline on their T side, showing that they know what's up here. But uh, we do see Toop is going to be on top of the porch side roof, just hanging out there. At the moment, though, the T is just working very passively. Got a couple in Banana. And uh, Sin making sure that no one pushes out of apps, as well as Fabian will be in alt mid checking up as well. But Robbie puts some fire onto Shifty. So down to 50 HP, actually 45, but definitely uh, some significant damage done there. They will, re they will re smoke off the top of mid, so preventing that real estate from being taken by the T. So, 45 seconds left in this round. And uh, if we take a look at the players in B, Sav and uh, his counterpart, Deimos, they have no smokes left. So, this could be a B side play if they so choose, but the group up is in mid. Yeah, they're making their way up mid right now. Smokes and Flash is raining out. Looks like they're going to be taking Arch side. There is someone there. That would be Shifty with an AWP. Gets the first frag on Fabian. Gets a second. That's Sin down. Going to go for the third. Doesn't get it. Meanwhile, Salmo drops SLI over towards Pit. Toop hanging around this pillar and Slight is going to get one. Goes for the peak. Doesn't get another. So now it's a 2v2. Fobless and Robbie 1 versus Sav and Deimos. Deimos with an AWP. Both men pushing around from Arch side. Nate rains out, does a bit of damage to both. But they're going to try and wrap and get the peaks on each side here. Fobless in sight with the AK trying to hold off Moto. Robbie 1 peeking towards Van. And Fobless is going to get peeked out soon by Deimos. Deimos hits the shot, takes him down to 21 HP. Here comes the flank from Sav. Sav low on HP, 11 health. He's trying to get these shots, but he's just not able to find them. Finally getting taken down by Fobless. So that's another round for DWG, but that was very close. Almost a retake happening there for Hyper. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I imagine Sav may have been able to get a little bit more done if he just used the steps instead of trying to jump on that box. It looked like he was having a hard time there. He's just parkour. jump peeking in and, yeah, his parkour not quite on point. So he wasn't able to get on top of that box and... Uh, it, it could have made the difference, but who knows, right? All well, just speculation. We see a lot more than they do. So, round number nine, seven to one, the score line, and Sav goes down almost immediately, and Toop as well. So, already this eco round for the CT side, SLI. He did pick up a kid, so it's not like they weren't hoping to take this round. You don't pick up a kid thinking that you're just going to let them have it. But uh, as of now, shifting now the last one alive inside of... The B site. SLI actually has an opportunity that if you went over towards Arch and got Robbie, no, it's not going to happen. So um, the bomb was all alone outside at Arch side, and he was between basically the bomb and the other T's. But bomb has been 
did not come into play. So Shifty in a 1v5. He's going to peek out down Banana, but Foblis will be there to put an end to this round. 8 to 1. DWG looking absolutely dominant on their T side. And Hyper, they just don't know how to answer it. But the thing is, they need to answer soon if we're going to see a close map number one. If I remember correctly, a lot of these players who played for Rhythm, when Rhythm played in our our last tournament that they played together in, um, they were really good on Inferno, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's the map they beat Tempo 16 to 1 on. They also had a close game against CLG was Mousepaz at the time, so they're definitely very confident on Inferno. So maybe they have, you know, a, di a few different players than they had with the team of Rhythm, but really looking good right now. Damos is going to start things out, dropping two players, Salmo and Fabian, already off the board. Going for those shots to the smoke, they tag Sin down to 78 HP. But that 2K from Deimos is going to stop things over at Banana. Bomb making its way up apartments right now. It's already in long haul. There's a man in pit. That's SLI. He's got to get these frags. I imagine he's going to get bank flashed out the door, so he might need to get behind some cover here as Robbie one is about to peak. Taking his time, coming around that corner. 55 seconds left on the clock. The duck peak. There's the top of his head. So SLI spots it out, not able to take him down. Nade rains out from Robbie. Molly as well, that's going to force SLI out of the good sp uh, spot and pit behind Pillar. And now these T's running out of time here as Tube comes in and takes out Robbie. One, it's a 5v2 Fabless and Sin, the last two left standing for DWG. Yeah, and Sin will go down to SLI and pit, so falling apart as... Fabless trying to make something work here. If you can just strip a couple weapons away, that would be fantastic. If he opts to save, I'll be thoroughly confused. And it uh, looks like he might be saving. But uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Just, again, if he can strip any weapons away, the economy... And he can't see the economy like I can, but um, I, I imagine we've been talking about all the experience on this team. They have uh, the kind of internal track of... Uh, uh, of the money situation. So you would you would expect him to hunt for some frags, but opts to just stick with his AK-47. It's going to save it. That He'll have it in the next round, but being that uh, they do have 8K, 7K, 7K, they've got an op on Robbie, and they still have money to play with. Again, I would like to see him get a frag or two, but here we are. Nonetheless, it's going to be round 11. Second round on the board for the CTs in Hyper. And they need to put consecutive rounds on the board now. This round is a must win for them. And Shifty will walk peek out mid and gets dropped by Robbie already. Now I'd say at this point, Hyper can't lose any more rounds. So losing the AWPer early to Robbie's AWP in mid, not going to help them. It's going to be a two-man hold on each site. We'll see how they decide to divvy up the strength of the team. Because... It might be just as worthwhile to put a one-man hold on B. It's a little bit easier to hold by yourself and send three over to A. But we'll see what the T's do here. There are two men pushed up on Banana Bomb. Drop deep. There's a man pushing up mid. That is Robbie one with his AWP. He's trying to peek Arch. Now he's going to go for the peek maybe towards Truck. No, there's a smoke ring down on Truck, so no need. And the bomb is making its way up Banana right now. So Deimos and the other man over there, Sav, going to have to come up big right now. Double smoking, making sure that there's no way these players are just going to push through, but they're just stacked outside that smoke, waiting and waiting. And we'll see what they do here as they have a decent crossfire. Sav on CT and Deimos right around the corner as these T's begin the execute. Yeah, and the smoke will dissipate, so that's going to queue and flashbang from the CT's to try and hold it off, but the rush is inevitable. Sav is having to rotate to construction, but does it matter? Deimos gets two. And that's a big play, but Sav needs to go big. He gets one. Can he get Fabulous as well? He will, and Fabian goes down as he enters the crossfire at very low HP. So a triple kill from Sav, a double for Deimos, and they hold on to that site. It's a great play by them. And we'll see if Hyper can, again, come back in this half. They, they can't technically win the half as eight rounds already on the T side. They can make it seven, but an eight to seven scoreline would be optimal at this point at least it's not something that you would look from the start of the match and be like oh yeah it's seven on the ct side yeah we want that that's not what they wanted but they'll take it at this point and we are minute 30 left in round number 12 and at the moment looks like an a side execute from our t side yeah there's gonna be the eco round here for dwg tech nines across the board armor on three right now sin fabulous and salmo didn't get a chance to see if robbie one had armor or not Fabulous 
over in Boiler trying to peek. And here he comes. The rush might be coming out of Boiler right now. Fabla spots that man out on the roof. He's going to get one, but running out of ammo is Dupe SLI there to help. Shifty picks one off with the AWP, but he's going to get taken out by Fabian. And finally, Deimos polishing off that man who found an AWP. So two kills for DWG on the eco round. Not exactly bad. They were able to pick up an AWP, but couldn't do anything with it, getting taken out as soon as they walked over it. So 4-8 to eight is the scoreline coming into round number 13. And again, Hyper basically at this point has to win out. 7-8 on the CT side is actually not that good. Obviously, 8 rounds to the T side on any map is pretty, I mean, rough. You know, most of the maps in CS are CT sided. And Inferno, as of late, I'd say probably a 10-5 map. So... Letting the T's get eight rounds is going to be really hard to come back from that, but you never know what Hyper has in their hat for the T side of this map, so I could be eating my words very soon. And Demo's going to open up. He's playing at car and actually doesn't move at all. Gets the double. And they've now taken control of this real estate. And although I'm going to answer my own question and why weren't they doing this earlier, Demos just didn't have, they didn't have two ops, they didn't have the economy to do so, but this aggressive banana play is working out for them right now. Sin and Fabian, the last two alive, SLI will drop Sin, so 1v5 here and turns around, sprays at nothing as he will go down to two, so I say that, I'm not trying to make fun or anything like that, he just literally did that, and I imagine he heard some sort of footsteps. Didn't actually uh reflect his situation but we're gonna see another round for the ct side so two rounds away from winning out the half like we were saying they needed to do so hyper putting in the work now another buy up from dwg as they have full loss bonus or not quite four rounds they've lost in a row after this last one they will have full loss bonus but buy here shifty though moving up into apps we'll be able to get that frag quickly but this is a beautiful opportunity for the T's to wrap around Archway. Yeah, and Robbie one needs to get this entry frag. The man in pit oh, giving man. him some issue. Both players getting low, but no kills coming out. Finally, Fabla takes him out of the nade. Robbie one gonna get shifty one or shifty. I'm uh, sorry, two <laughs> taken out by Salmo. Too many ones on the board. It's getting yeah. confusing. Sav coming around. Moto gets two. That Fabla and Salmo goes for the peak for the third. Not gonna find it. So now it's Deimos in a 1v2 off in hand, creeping up towards truck side right now. Robbie 1 at 29 HP, Fabian at 63. And we'll see what Deimos has in store for us. He has been pretty good with this off thus far. There's a man on Moto and a man in sight. He almost grenade oh, and okay, gets then. the kill, the double frag there from Deimos, cleaning it up. A nice clutch play from him and more than enough time on the clock to defuse that nade. And I actually got glitched out in my uh, Go TV. I thought it bounced off the pole back at him because the decoy blew up. It kind of <laughs> confused me a little bit, but a great nade from him, plus the off shot, cleaning things up there, making it six rounds for Hyper, and much better a score than maybe I would have thought after they were down, I think, 8-1. So they're mounting a bit of a comeback here on the CD side of Inferno. Yeah, and that, uh, that specific retake gave me flashbacks of Drone on... Um... Aftershock versus Dismay on Cash when he was peeking from CT Connector, just throws a beautiful nade into sight, peeks out under heaven, and then gets that frag as well. So, great double kill coming out from Deimos. He's definitely pulling his weight as he's got 12 frags on the board. Shifty as well, the player that was dropping out earlier, but apparently none of those server issues or connection issues are causing a problem anymore. So, last round of the half here, 6-8. to eight. Definitely DWG, hoping to make it a 9-6 half. But uh, with the momentum in the favor of the CTs right now, definitely looking like they might be able to pick up this final round of the half. So smoking off top of Banana once again, it's going to prevent Sin from getting any cheeky peeks in here. But actually, he's boosted up on this uh, the cart there. And it won't be able to make anything happen. He was trying to get one through the smoke. And oh, he will get Deimos! So that's a big frag. The edge of the smoke, he's able to make something work in. I'm wondering if that edge of the smoke play is due to the new change that we've had in uh, the borders around the smokes. I have no idea if that had any effect, but they have been changed. And apparently running through a smoke, you don't get blinded as much as well. So some changes going on. That was just in the patch that launched maybe a couple hours ago. But uh, Sav going to have to go big here. And he's playing around Newbox, gets the first one. Completely catching Fabulous off guard. Now there's three coming right at him. They know exactly where he is. Not able to get his recoil under control. Samo takes him off the board.
So it's a 4v3 right now. If he could have held that just a little while longer, prevented that defuse, only eight seven or eight seconds left on the clock when the bomb plant came in. So now Hyper on the retake here. It's a 3v4 in round number 15. Off shot from Sin, not connecting. Repeak does. Gonna go for the peak on SLI. Hits, but no frag for him get, connecting through that generator. 18 HP on SLI, 2 bet 100, but they need to make a move fast here as time is ticking away. SLI trying to peek at Banana, no one there. Toop going for the man behind new box, not able to find it, and that's going to be it. 8-7 is going to be, or a 9-6 is going to be your score. DWG over Team Hyper right now. A pretty healthy T side taking nine rounds, but again, you never know what you're going to see. I've seen T sided Nuke, I've seen T sided Overpass, Cobblestone. Anything can happen when the team is just putting it together on their T side. Yeah, I agree, and we'll see how Hyper plays this T side, but uh, for DWG, that last round, very important for them to uh, just get another round under their belt before the end of the half. They had lost a number in a row, so to get that last one means that uh, some confidence back towards them, but I I think you put it perfect. They actually don't really need that confidence, and that 9-6 half for uh, the T side, that's a beautiful spot already, but just on top of that, getting that last round means that they should be pretty confident coming into this pistol round. Our second map of the evening is going to be overpass and that is hyper's pick so that would be a great feeling for dwg to go on from a win on inferno to starting on that ct side on overpass so we'll see how it plays out but second pistol round is live and we'll see what kind of t side hyper has to offer Obviously, a lot of weight on the pistol round here. Down three rounds. If they take it, they can tie it, make it 9-9. But again, we we talked about this in the first half. DWG has three players, X, Rhythm, Sin, Robbie, One, and Fablis, and that team was just straight nasty on Inferno. And their C t uh, the CT side for Rhythm was always the strong side regardless of what map they played. So I anticipate great things from DWG here coming into the second half. But again, we don't know what Hyper is capable of. So right now, just setting up for that default spread, not really putting their uh, eggs in one basket as of yet. Bomb is down over by Banana. Robbie One's going to get the first frag. That's Shifty down. Two boosting into window. Checks the dark spot, not finding anything at all. And there is kind of a lot going on, but nothing at the same time. Two players on B. Two players over at A. One coming out boiler, one going long haul, but the bomb is making its way up Banana right now. Sin's going to get the first one. That's Sav. Two responds with a kill onto Robbie. So Deimos is going to fall off with that bomb if he can. Both players wrapping towards Arch side. Salmo is there and he spots them out. Knows they're coming. Not able to get the kills. He's going to push over towards Library. Toop on the push. The one tap from Salmo gets the first one, but not able to find the shot. Finally taken down SLI. Deimos, though, getting that player out of position. Might be able to get this bomb plant down, but he is being attacked from all edges here. And he gets dropped by Sin. A beautiful one tap from the USP. So 10-5. DWG taking the pistol round. Yeah, big pistol round pickup for the CT side. And I kind of thought that he could just get the bomb down there. I don't think he realized that they're all so far away. One player in pit and one at library. May have been able to get the plant, meaning more money, but opted to go for the frags and bait out that plant, hoping that they would all rush in to his crosshair, but didn't work out. And uh, I did want to let you guys know that we've got a minimal, minimal wear op electric hive follower giveaway at the end of our broadcast. So we hit the number we were looking for, 52,500. So thank you very much for hitting that follow button if you already have. But if uh, you haven't hit that follow button, please do if you like what we're doing here. And it will enter you in for a chance to win that minimal wear AWP electric hive. So at the end of the broadcast, again, we'll be doing that. But Sin will be able to pick up the first frag of this anti-eco round. The T-side is basically going with upgraded pistols. SLI does pick up armor, but uh, just a vest, no helmet, so not as expensive. But at the moment, Toop hits a sick shot down back halls onto Robbie. That might be the opening they need to get some stuff done here. They want to at least get some frags on the board. That's what uh, Toop's going for here, but now it's only SLI. Will he be able to get... Salmo, he will. Pro 90 in hand, but will go down to the Pro 90 of Fobless. So the round comes to a close. 11 to 6, our score line. Two frags on the Eco of Hyper. That's not too bad, but definitely uh, the, the problem here is that on the CT side, you're supposed to be winning these rounds, and they're going to be growing a lot of bank. So the two frags are great, but 
definitely the scoreline deficit uh, hyper. They're not in a great spot here. Yeah, absolutely not. You know, down five rounds on the less favored T side here. They're going to go for those Deagle buys again. You can see some of these players probably a little more old school. Deagle not necessarily as good as it used to be, and a lot of the older players still opt to buy it in the save round. Salmo's going to get the first one. That's SLI down to, down to 28 HP, and these players are setting up for an arch side take here, and they are definitely getting mowed down by DWG. Not a single frag on the board. It's Fobless and Robbie 1 clean up there. Two kills for both after Salmo got the entry. So 12-6 now. Hyper down six rounds coming into round 19. Able to get that first buy and the P90 toss. I'm not sure if you're seeing this here. Synchronized P90 throwing in CT spawn. Oh, yeah, they're juggling right now. <laughs> it's pretty nice uh, rhythm they've got going there with that juggle, but we are going to see them upgrade their weapons no longer having the Pro 90 on the field. The least equipped will be Robbie 1 with a FAMAS on the board, but buy up from the T side. Very important round for them as... They let the economy of DWG get any crazier. Having that flawless anti-eco in the last was really great for them. Robbie will be able to pick up the first frag as he got very aggressive at T-side apps. And uh, no refrag, and that is always a problem if you're the T's and you aren't getting a refrag. So man advantage for the CTs, and they're just going to play really pla passive, and I don't blame them one bit. We see... Fabian falling back all the way to Moto, holding Arch from there. Robbie now pushed up right outside of Balcony. But uh, they are getting aggressive in B. Sav looking for a pick of sorts, and he didn't see Sin, but Sin may have seen him. As uh, Flashbang comes out from his counterpart in Fobless. But the bomb is heading into this B site. Sav takes off the head of Sin. That's the opening they're looking for. Fobless goes down. And now... Salmo is very, very close, but he goes down to Sav as well, and this is looking like we might just see a save from the CT side. Very important round for the T's to pick up, and ooh, Robbie getting hunted right now, but will put down two. So, they're just going to save their weapons and live to fight another day. And Hyper finally putting a round on the board for their T side. They've lost quite a few in a row here, but the, uh, the first buy obviously working out for them. So, we'll see what they can do as rounds continue to count down. They're going to get the bomb. Three players left alive. Keeping that up is definitely going to be a big piece of the puzzle for them. Robbie 1 did get 2, down to 8 HP, keeping his AK. Fabian keeping the M4. They're going to have money to rebuy on DWG, but based on the last round, maybe Hyper has a decent T-side when it comes down to rifle on rifle. Yeah, we'll find out as... Obviously, enough money to repurchase here on that CT side. That's kind of the benefit of having those solid anti-eco rounds. Because certainly, you can find yourself, if those two rounds after pistol are very close, you can find yourself in a spot where you're saving after losing just that first rifle round, but not going to be the case. And Robbie will open up. Deimos down to 50 HP as well. Ate a nade as he walked down banana. So, big pickup. But we saw the... Similar pickup, a, a pick on that CT side, and a man advantage dwindled away as uh, they were able to open up the B site in the last round. But Sav was the man to do all that work with the triple kill in the last round. He's on the bench right now. What does the rest of the lineup come up with here? Yeah, they still have four players, plenty of uh, guns and grenades across the board for Hyper. There's enough time on the clock that they can make something happen here. 52 seconds left as I say this. Robbie won with the op, already gotten a frag on the round on Sav, and he's been pretty good thus far for them. Top fragging at 16 and 11, but not by a whole lot. The spread for DWG is pretty even right now. SLI is going to get into a duel with a man over in Cemetery and gets naded twice. Fabian picks it up. Deimos, meanwhile, wrapping around our side, gets one, but immediately on the trade, Fabian is there. So that's the 3K for him. And now Shifty, a 1v4 op in hand. And I'm not sure what he plans to do here, but my assumption is he's going to try and save it. You see that nade? It's like, oh, it's in the pillar That's, in front, yeah. therefore it does nothing. CSGO <laughs> nades, like, man. Uh... <laughs> I've seen it before on Banana where it lands on the sidewalk in front of you. Like, you can see how it's tiered, and it doesn't yeah. do any damage. Oh, my God. So, like, you could be yeah. standing right on the edge of that concrete right before the wood step. If it blows up in front of the wood step right on the edge, it does zero damage. It is the stupidest thing. But at the same time, I don't necessarily blame Valve. It's not 
not easy to necessarily program grenades to ignore certain walls and not ignore others. Either yeah. way, Hyper at seven rounds, DWG at 13. We're coming into round 21 here, and we're going to see an eco round from Hyper. Yeah, they do have Shifty, though, with that AWP. Three Deagles backing it up. SLI picks up armor and a P250. That's kind of his style, as we've seen him do it multiple times throughout this map thus far. We'll see here if they can make anything happen on their eco round. What do they do with the AWP is my question. Right now, Shifty actually working up towards Boiler, and he <laughs> randomly shoots, and I believe that was because of the flashbang popping in his face. But uh, Robbie will get that, and we'll see if they can collect it. SLI very quick, and we'll be able to get that. Now peeking out goes down, though, and this is no longer a recyclable weapon, as Toop is going to try to jump up and grab it. He's hopping into the apartments right now. But definitely plenty of players around to try and stop this from... Oh, Salmo actually basically gifts this to him as he smokes off Boiler. So they will be able to utilize that once again. But over near this B site, Sav looking for the Deeg and he gets it onto Sin. So that opens things up, but the bomb is still down near the back of Banana. Fobla is still alive in construction, gets a frag. So Deimos has pushed up here. Toop though, and the man to watch as... He does have that AWP in hand, and I heard Deimos try and get the one dig, but won't be the case. So, DWG picking up the round, and a uh, good anti-eco for them. Yeah, and Hyper's money is really not looking good. You see players not able to buy this round, so they're going to have that mix buy. And the mix buy, just not ideal when you're down 14-7. You want to have that full buy. Grenades across the board and part of that is the deagle buys we've been seeing a lot. They've been buying deagles on their eco rounds. The deagle is not a cheap pistol and as a result it's been damaging their economy quite a bit but as uh, I say that, Shifty uh, taking out Salmo up mid. What a shot. Robbie 1 is going to respond taking out Sab. Fabian there to help taking out Deimos and now the push on mid is stopped. Comes to a complete grinding halt. A nade from Toop there is going to finish off Robbie 1. And there's a man art side in Fabless. Fabian in sight. And the man over on B already pushing out or back into sight. As he is there by himself trying to hold up new box right now. And it looks like we might see the B play here from Hyper. Knowing that there's two men over on B. But look at the rotate right now. The nine man Fabless looking like he's going to try and make his way over towards B. He's sitting in library. He's in a good position to rotate. So once Sin makes the call, it will be game on for the retake here. And Sin from New Box is going to hear all the noise. They're all around him. He gets the first frag onto Toop, but Shifty puts him down. They actually almost lined up SLI and Shifty, but getting that op frag means he should be able to get the bomb planted. Fobless Fabian on the retake. That smoke at front sight will dissipate. Shifty gets a shot. And now Fabian, though, on the retake, no calls as it is a silenced weapon. And apparently, that was the AWP not given the call. Shifty goes down and no information for his one left teammate. So 1v1, Fabian picks up the round, a 3k for him, making it 15-7. to Now on match point is DWG. Yeah, and now they've got quite a bit of that loss bonus stored up here on the T side of Hyper. So they're going to be able to buy. They got the bomb plant, came down to a 1v1, so that's definitely going to help. Demos, no armor, Sav without the head armor. And that's a big one when you're on the T side because that M4 all of a sudden becomes a one tap. Robbie One's going to open things up with a kill onto Sav, so body armor doesn't even matter. Demos getting into a duel with him in mid, comes out the victor. So the lack of body armor not really playing a factor there in that AWP duel as Robbie can't seem to find the shot. Salmo boosted up on the roof over Patio right now. He's got a good line of sight on Shifty who's coming around mid. And I think he spotted out that barrel. So he's just waiting and waiting here. Toop in halls as is SLI. So most of the action here for Hyper. Over towards the A bomb site. There is a man deep in mid. That was Deimos. And here comes the push up mid. 
Toop gets taken out, as does Shifty. Salma with two frags over off the roof. SLI finally trades him out. Now it's a 2v2. Deimos and SLI fighting it out for map number one here. Sin and Fabulous, the last two left for PWG. Fabulous gets one, traded out by SLI. SLI at 4 HP. 45 seconds left on the clock. Sin on the rotate right now. SLI is going to go for the plant, and Sin is just creeping his way up truckside. We'll see if SLI is going to see this coming. Goes for the peak, taken down by Sin. So DWG coming away with map number one here. 16 to 7 over Hyper, but we will be moving into the next map, which is going to be Hyper's pick. So we'll see what they have for us there. Yeah, that will be overpass. So taking a short break here, guys, and being that all of our issues in terms of delays and such, they have been dealt with. It's going to be a very short break, I promise you. As uh, again, we're just swapping over to overpass. Make sure you guys check out. Uh, we got some Twitter giveaways going on. Uh, I'm offering up an M4A4. Asimov, Battle Scarred, so follow myself, Official Sprawl, and Go RGN TV, and uh, make sure you guys retweet that specific tweet mentioning that, and as well as that, we've got Facebook giveaway. we got to mention both social medias here. So Cyberware, they're hooking us up with the GTX 960. Go and visit their Facebook page as well as ours. So it's Cyberware LLC and RGN. Like those pages, that is the only prerequisite, and then we'll announce the winner of that on our broadcast at the end of our broadcast on the 15th. So guys, taking a very short break. When we return, map number two of this best of three. Don't go too far. But she said, trust me, these are the stories we will tell as I stood frozen and fell. 
All right, guys, we are back. This is map number two of our best of three here, the RGN Intercontinental North American Division. And it's Hyper versus DWG. This is Hyper's map choice, but Pistol Rounds Live and Sin has already opened things up. It's looking like they're opting for a B-side play, and Sin will be able to take down a second before they even step foot in the site. So things not working out. Shifty and SLI very, very lit as well. And they're just going to force the issue and go for it. Looks like Toops actually put significant damage onto SLI. So some team damage early on here. And it's all up to Toop and Shifty as they're trying to just deke around this pillar. But being that they're positioned completely known, 
they are going to get shut down here. So good opening pistol round from DWG and Hyper, on the other hand, they're going to be a little bit upset as, like I was saying, this is their map pick, but we, uh, yeah, we are here. Round number two. I am Sprawl. By my side is Bok, and I wish you were actually by my side, Bok. You seem like a guy that would really be able to comfort me in uh, some, <laughs> some upsetting situations just by my side, but no, we are only virtually by our sides. Exactly, exactly. Um, I think uh, you had mentioned it in the last round, uh, Toop doing a bit of damage to SLI. I think he knifed him in the back early on. Sin oh. picking up three quick ones as I can't shut my mouth here. Toop, Sav, and Shifty down. SLI finally stops the P90 Rampage. Fabian's going to come in with the help of Fabulous. Take down Deimos and SLI. But the Rampage from Sin doing extreme damage with the P90, and that's just that gun in a nutshell. It's perfect for these anti-eco rounds because that armorless T is just a target that is waiting to be annihilated by the P90's massive clip, erratic recoil, and it's it's just a joke. I mean, it's insane facing up against an anti or an eco how good the P90 really is. And we're seeing a number of deagles on the field once again, Hyper not changing that aspect of their play. As uh, we can see, they're opting to just rush out long. We'll see if this works out. The problem, though, is Robbie holding a great angle with uh, his M4 in hand. He misses the shots, though, and now falling back. He hasn't peeked again. If he literally just jumped, he would have so much information on where this push is taking place. But that nade will do, do good damage. Now from Bank, seems like all of his bullets are missing. His spray looked like it was on, but now pushing up into sight. We're going to have a, just an absolute decimation. But the bomb being planted, that is the objective they were going for so they'll have some more money in this next round and might even mean yeah they've got enough for an awp so shifty's gonna be happy about that 6600 on him means that we can pick that up with armor and a little bit of utility as well so three to zero this is a very ct sided map so guys don't be too surprised or too down and out if you see hyper down some rounds as definitely on that ct side that's where they're looking to make the comeback yeah, and this is a map that favors alt play due to large stretches of completely open land, like Long Park. Obviously, that's like alping territory. That's essentially the mid of this map. Sin's gonna get the better of Shifty here, taking him down over by Short Tunnel. That's the other long section alping area for this map. You'll see a lot of duels take place over there. There's three players in the water coming out Long Pipe already. They're spamming through the plywood, not finding much of anything here. Fabian is around that corner. Demo is coming downstairs. So all four players here stacked up in water. Smoke's going to rain out from the CTs. It's going to hold these guys off just a little while longer. And SLI with this boost in sight. We're over in water peaking where Fabulous was just about to peak. But not enough patience on Hyper. As the smoke fades, they're going to try and get into the site as quickly as they can. They know there's still only three players over here. And that the rotate is destined to be on here. Salmo and Robbie won right around the other side of that door. And... Flash is going to rain out through the window. An excellent flashbang from DWG. Fabulous and Salmo getting three. And now Fabulous getting two more, I believe. So a 3k for Fabulous. One on Salmo, and Sin gets the other. Team Hyper down 4 0 here on Overpass. Yeah, and DWG just coming in and pinching on that location. It's an end to that round, and I'm really liking this new spectating flash. I don't get a full white screen anymore. It's just kind of like the white around the edges, and I can still see. It's fantastic. And it uh, yeah, also means that my pale skin, it it hurts when uh, the white. <laughs> it's too bright. It's too bright. Too much sunburn. Exactly. I get sunburned from my 24-inch uh, my monitor here. But uh, round number five. Hyper on the eco, and they're going for another long play here. It uh, opted or ended in a bomb plant last time. We'll see if it will be the same. But first frag for Robbie. They've got they've got an AWP down long. So different from last round on the defense means that although the M4A1S is definitely a good weapon for there, the op definitely the preferred weapon. As now falling apart is this eco rush, but they are able to take down Robbie, and that's an AWP down. But being the location of it getting dropped. I don't think SLI will be able to grab it, and no, he tries eventually, but uh, Shifty with one means two frags on the board. It's kind of a bare minimum for those eco rounds, but the money on the CT side is definitely starting to hit that kind of critical mass that we'll be able to buy for uh, 
don't know, at least the next round if they lose one. But uh, that's a comfortable feeling on the CT side of Overpass. Hyper, though, this is their map choice. They need to wake up and get around here as, like I said, with the amount of money on that side, if they're able to buy once, once twice after you lose a round, that's a beautiful situation. And right now, two players on the T side that are struggling. Deimos and Sav have not found a single kill yet. And as I say that, Sin is going to take down Deimos here early in the round with that pick on short tunnel, yet again putting that AWP to work. And there is a player in water. That would be Sav, if I'm not mistaken. Three players over there now as the door pops open. SLI and Toop. They're going to go for that same boost again, trying to get a line of sight into the bomb site here, but not able to find it as Fablis is sitting right around the edge there. That spot the peaks over towards toxic barrels, but there's not a single player there right now. Sin pushed up deep into canal, Fablis and Pit. And then Fabian is over by CT Cross, an interesting three-man hold here. Not putting any emphasis on Windows. Smoke raining out. Sin gets a frag with his op. Robbie one gets one as well. Fablis is gonna polish off the head of Sav, and now it's on tube. 50 HP bomb in hand, 43 seconds left. He's going to make his way over towards Long Tunnel, but I believe he's made enough noise that at this point the CTs know exactly where he is. He's going to run back into T-Spawn and maybe try and get this bomb down or save his AK. A nice shot, though, is going to take down Sin, so that's the AWP out of him. And he has been struggling here, staying alive, round in and round out. He's already died four times. Robbie won, finally get us, then, uh, getting that kill as my tongue gets tied there. But, I mean, SLI, or not SLI, uh, Sin has been doing good work with the AWP. But he continues to die, and it, it's something I've talked about before, is that the AWP only gets you $100 per kill. So buying that $4,750 rifle plus armor, that's $5,750 for a $100 reward three rounds in a row, devastates a team's economy if they are unable to retrieve yours from a pickup. Even if they are, they have to rebuy rifles, which also hurts the team economy. It's an aspect of gameplay that before the CZ was introduced, I almost discourage teams from having a dedicated opera unless he was lights out yeah no that's a great point and uh hyper they're gonna get the opening pick here so sin going down that player that we were just highlighting we're gonna curse him as <laughs> instead of dying later in the rounds he goes down right away but that being said this is the pick they've been looking for hyper has been falling apart because each round that they have rifles they try and peek towards sin there but sin's been able to get the opening frag so now that it's gone the opposite direction, how do they work this site? They're pushing in, but SLI and Sav already very lit. The bomb is going to be set. Deimos with another. It will be a 3v4 as is the closest thing we've seen to a round from the T side. But uh, we are going to see Shifty burn to death by Salmo peeking up from water. This should be a freebie. Yeah, SLI goes down. 2v2 situation as it is going to be only Toop, and he just takes a bullet to the brains. 35 HP, he does peek out and get one. Will he get Robbie as well? He will, so a huge round there for Toop. And he's able to get an AWP first one on the board, but uh, if you're an optimistic thinker like I, I like to think I am, it, it's now an opportunity for DWG to destroy the economy of Hyper. If Hyper cannot pick up this next round, that is a serious issue where DWG could be going up a scoreline that may not be recoverable on that CT side once the swap happens. Absolutely, absolutely. And you clearly had op on the brain with words like opportunity and oh, yeah, optimistic. Yep. Damos <laughs> gonna get the op there that Toop was able to save. Sav goes down early in the round to Fabless pushing up through that smoke on Cat, a little bit confused as to what he was thinking exactly. Obviously, DWG is gonna have guns. They have plenty of rounds chained together. They have the money to buy. There are a few players that are struggling here. Fabian is at zero, Sin at 1250, but they would be able to be rebought if they are going down in this round. Shifty creeping his way over towards A, and he's gonna give them so much information. There is not a single player on that A bomb site. If he can get in here and these T's can rotate out of water, that would be huge, but Robbie won all the way back on Picnic area. He's going to be waiting for this rotate out, and here we see Toop coming up the doors right now. Coming through, he's going to get dropped. Oh my goodness, Robbie won with the knife out, spots out. Toop, <laughs> Toop does not see him. Somehow, Robbie won survives certain death. Bomb is going to be dropped back by Picnic, and now the T's are going to have to rotate over. Robbie won there, though, by himself. So SLI and Shifty really need to put the squeeze on him. Fabian gonna take out Shifty as he pushes down towards B. So now SLI by himself picking up bomb, heading back, back over towards B. Dropped by Salmo as he comes out squeaky door. So 
a round that probably could have gone better for Hyper had they picked off Robbie, who was just running around there in the courtyard outside of bathrooms with his knife out. If Toop had gotten that frag, that's the A-bomb site gifted to them. Then they have the plant with the two-man hold, one other holding the flank. It would have been a pretty easy job. Instead, Toop doesn't spot out Robbie 1, and DWG gets yet another round. Yeah, now no money on that hyper side, so saving once again. And I'd love to see a default where they just essentially move up around the map and just kind of prevent the aggression, because that's what we saw there. Just so much aggression from the CT side that it turns into a spot where it's like, yeah, you guys spawned at one side of the map and we spawned at the other, but anybody could be anywhere. So you have to be checking so many corners and creates uh, such a time crunch in trying to make it to other locations in the map. So this eco round is going to be a straight up mid push. Toop will go down as Robbie gets that frag, and coming up are the T's. We do have uh, Sav attempting to open things up. Shifty, though, will hit a 1D. And uh, actually, Deimos with a second at SLI. Can he get something done? He makes it a 1v2 here. That's economic damage done, but at this point, they want rounds on the board, so he's going to try and clutch, obviously. He's got armor and an M4. He's got one player at truck, Sin. Right at the bottom of Electric Box. Now going towards Bank, but Fabian keeps his location unknown. Peeks out and will blindside SLI for the round victory. So 8-1. to one. Hyper, they have uh, not shown us a heck of a lot on this T side. And you, you would expect that they pick the map. They're going to have some strategies to work. But nothing's really working. They, they keep trying to... It looks like their default play is try and get a pick down. One player at tracks tries to peek into B to get a frag. And I, I don't know if it's worked out for them a lot of times before. Enough that they don't really have a lot of other strats to work. But that has been the only clear-cut strat I've really witnessed them go for. Now we're going to see a bit of a split play. But it is an eco round going the way, though, thus far in Hyper's favor, so they might be able to get this round in, and it would be a key one for them to get back into this map. Yeah, I really thought last round was their opportunity. They had that 1v2, and he had the M4 and the uh, body armor in sight. 40 seconds was left, and he, f just for some reason, decided to run across the site towards Truck to get the bomb, and Fabian was just waiting for him. But even if Fabian wasn't there, the audio cue was just way too big. You can't give up that much information. Sin's gonna take out Shifty as they push towards Short Pipe. Sav with the Deagle gets another one, so... There's going to be M4s across the board for the T side. Two men with body armor, so they might be able to survive that aim punch long enough. And Sav picking up the 3K now. Finally dropped by Fablis. Fablis over by CT Cross and the Molly not really covering that spot all too well. SLI in sight. Toop over by Door watching the flank. Oh, and he's lagged out. I think out. Toop is lagged out. That's a shame. Something we've seen happen more than once. So now it's a 1v1. Fablis versus SLI. And they know that it's a 1v1 at this point as... Hyper has already requested the pause, so SLI is going to have to come up big for his team here. They really need to get more than one round at this point. Hoping to get at least three or four. I mean, that's not necessarily amazing, but it's manageable, as this is a heavily CT-sided map. Fablis is pushing his way around site, walking up from pit SLI with the line of sight. Perfect peaking there for SLI. So Fablis goes down, Hyper gets round number two, and despite the fact that Toop did lag out, the fact that he survives long enough that he was able to get back to spawn before disconnecting means they're going to be able to keep that M4. So either he lagged out or he just disappeared. Because typically by now you would see this player completely disappear. Yeah, I think it's a time -o... He's got 330 ping. So there we go. Oh, there you it's go. actually a... It says disconnect, but uh, I don't know. I don't necessarily always trust the reasons for the disconnect. Like it's saying disconnect or what told it to say just disconnect rather than timeout. Who knows? But... Uh... We are going to have a slight pause here. Hyper getting a must-win round to get back into this half. They can get three, four, five would be great. Um, they, they, they should be able to have a good comeback on that CT side. And my best guess is that we're going to see a good CT side from Hyper if they can get a good amount of rounds to kind of make that comeback on that side as... They, like I was saying before, it doesn't look like they have a ton of strategies on this T side. So maybe picking this map because they know that they have a couple that have worked pretty well. They're going to try and work those strategies. And then moving over to the CT side, they're just going to have a very strong CT side. So it's not exactly the assumption that you want to make. But it is one that uh, looks like they 
have opted for, and who knows as to what, I don't know what maps were banned. So maybe they had another map up their sleeve, but it was banned out as uh, being that these teams both play in leagues. You can find some information on what they've been scrimming on and also what they played official matches on, that kind of thing. But it looks like Toop is back in the server. Hopefully we can uh, get this going here and continue on. Round number 11 about to start off, and they have queued the unpause. So luckily the delay is very, very short, and we're back live in this match. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and make the assumption that of the maps that were probably vetoed, D2 is probably at the top of the list. So I don't, and I don't even know which side would have uh, would have vetoed it, but it's a common veto map because you usually see these teams, teams of this caliber, being pretty solid on D2. Nonetheless, though, we are getting into round number 11 here. This is DWG versus Hyper. Hyper opting to push out a squeaky door. Fabian gets one. That's two down, but SLI and Sav respond quickly. Fablis and Fabian off the board. Sin insight over on Canal. He has an M4, and he is holding off Short Pipe and Catwalk. He's got quite a job ahead of him here, as most of the T's are focused towards B right now. And this has been the play I've been seeing a lot from Hyper. It's just putting a couple players in water and trying to make their way onto B. And it's definitely the harder sight, in my opinion, considering the recent changes. Deimos, though, lining up the op shot down Short Pipe onto Sin, and now it's a 4v2. Deimos is going to walk right into the M4 of Robbie 1. Salmo gets two, Shifty and Sav down, and now all of a sudden, it's a 1v2 in favor of DWG. So SLI with 7 HP is going to fall up and go back upstairs, try and get back over to A, but I imagine that the CTs are already going to rotate over, and if they're not, Salmo is in such a good position here, he should be able to spot the footsteps of SLI, and here he goes rotating around towards Bank as he hears that player going for the plant on A. 25 seconds left in the round, gets that plant, so that's a big one, but with 7 HP here, it's going to be a difficult hold for him to manage. And we do see on the rotate, Robbie is going to be playing from Electric Box. Salmo will be flashing up here, and SLI gets a freebie onto Robbie as he boosts up and holding a nice headshot angle. Can he get it? No, Salmo puts him down 12 HP. Hyper so close to clutching that round. And that is just painful to watch as just 12 HP separated himself and that win. So SLI, he tries, and uh, props to him. He almost made it work there. Robbie goes down, boosting up on Electric Box, and a beautiful angle to hold that bank. But the crouch, the crouch. He crouches down, and as soon as his head comes back up, he goes down. So another eco round four hyper. And DWG looking to make this a very convincing scoreline on their CT side. But again, it is a CT-sided map, and like I was stating before, I imagine we're going to see a solid CT side from Hyper, but the problem is they're leaving themselves pretty much no room for mistakes once they swap over. Yeah, absolutely. They need to get more rounds on the T side. They can't be happy with 12-3, which is what it's looking like it's going to be at this point. SLI is going to get that man in sight. That's Robbie 1, and the site is wide open right now. There's not a single player here to stop this. The bomb's going to get planted. Fabian pushing around, going to get taken out. Fablis responds, though, dropping two, but now it's on Deimos, 1v3. But a good eco round there, getting that bomb plant and two frags, which is pretty much ideal. But in the last round, something we saw was they had an opportunity to create what we would call a swing round. So if they had won the previous round, they would have gone up 8-3. And the money from DWG would have been in a position where they probably would have ecoed, maybe bought one or two rifles and stuck with pistol armor on the rest. That would have meant that they could be facing a potential 8-4 scoreline. Instead, it's 10-2. There's a huge difference between those rounds, 10-2 and 8-4. I mean, four rounds on the T side of, of uh, overpass is a pretty healthy half for the T side. It's not amazing, but it's definitely manageable. 12-3 on the other hand, or 13-2 uh, if it happens, not so much. And they're looking like... They're prepping for B once again. This is the bread and butter of the T side of Hyper. They try and use these boosts in construction and also utilizing Deimos with the AWP looking down towards Canal. And it's been successful a little bit, but I think uh, after this match, they're probably going to go back to the drawing board and just think about, okay, we, we've got a nice setup at B. That's great, but we also need that A side execution so you can be shifting back and forth because right now you see a stack on this B site, more or less. 
And uh, Salmo actually getting a knife kill. How did he get that? I have no idea. And Shifty team kills Coop. What are we watching right now? The round comes to a close as I was in third person just looking over construction. And uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, that just didn't work out. So, oh, they're saying he lagged like the down with the bomb. So that's why the team kill came in. Oh, oh that's okay. a bummer because oh. he was stuck with the bomb. They couldn't get it from him and they TK'd trying to get it off of him. So they're going to oh. lose money for that. I I wish that match medic was easier to make happen because I would love to see these rounds, you know, re get reversed. But again, there's no way to prove. Like you can see in chat, they're saying kids unplugging his internet. In <laughs> like there's really no way to prove if it was, you know, a connection issue or if it was, you know, created on your own because players would definitely abuse something like that if they had the option, which I guess shows you the state of the competitive scene in general that players would be willing to abuse such... Uh, an awesome feature. But Hyper, definitely going to be upset about that one. That's going to really hurt their morale. And something I had noticed in the first map is they they are not necessarily at each other's throats, but it, like a typical team that's new and young and, and hasn't been together too long, when they start losing rounds, they, they don't take it well. They want to win. They're here to win, just like every other team. But something you see from top-tier teams or teams that have been together for a long time they know how to handle losing. It's reason why there's a lot of young teams that have really promising performance but then die off really early. It's because they can't handle the losses, and as a result, the team disintegrates because one bad loss and everyone starts killing each other, and then that's the end of the team. So hopefully that's not the case with Hyper. They've had some, uh, some flashes here, some decent rounds, obviously struggling right now on the T side of a very CT-sided map in Overpass. So I'd like to see what they have on the CT side right now, but things looking very good for DWG. Yeah, everything uh, in their favor at the moment. Definitely uh, working out great for them. Looks like we're just going to have a two-minute break here as he is having some connectivity issues, just doing a bit of a reboot, and hopefully we can continue this, but definitely... Uh, not a fun round there for Hyper, and it could mean the difference in this map in some regards purely because a four uh, compared to like three rounds on that T side could definitely make the difference as, uh, again, it's just more mistakes or I guess th there's just more of a chance that you can come back on that CT side is what I'm getting to. But if you only have two, you have to take pistol and make no mistakes across the board for so many rounds that... You can definitely make it happen, especially if you are very savvy on specific map, but it looks like we've lost Shifty as well. So, we've got three out of the five Hyper members here, and uh, we'll see if we're going to get this to continue. I do believe we're going to take a very, very short break here, guys, uh, just because it looks like we're going to have a couple minutes break before getting them back in. So... Um, we'll keep you guys posted on what's going on, but we should be able to continue this second map and see how this second map does conclude. But like I said, just going to take a very short break as Hyper, they are having some issues on their end. So don't go too far. We'll be back in just a couple minutes as soon as these problems are fixed up.
All right, guys, looks like we are back here in the match. It has been requested to be unpaused. We've got all five in, and we're going to try and continue on. Will be an eco the round before last for Hyper. And that round that we just witnessed, definitely a little bit painful to watch as Tube did lag out. So now they're just opting to rush into B, and Deimos will take off the head of Sin. Sin only getting one here, but Fabian will be able to respond and Foblis from pit will drop everybody except for shifty and he will go down shortly after via the cz 75 for so 12 to 2 the score line 200 damage done with nade sin making it happen there so although i only gave him credit for that one frag it definitely doing lots of damage as the t's entered the site yeah and this is a big round here for hyper they really need to pick this one up 13-2 is just not a score you really want, and I know it is just one round. It really is a huge difference because 13-2 means pistol round leads to victory if you can take it on the, on the other side. If you get 12-3, it could take you to match point, but the game isn't necessarily over. And we've seen some crazy comebacks after a team gets to 15 rounds. Just recently, we watched Virtus Pro. And I believe it was... Who was the team that Virtus Pro faced off against where they got 15 rounds and almost Property. came back? Property, that's correct. So it can happen, guys. It's not necessarily out of the ordinary. DWG here, obviously putting a lot in this round. Fobless with the Scar 20 just spamming through the plywood and doesn't put any damage out onto the boys from Viper. They're going to flash out towards Catwalk. Sav is there, spots a player over by Toxic Barrels. There's a man at CT Cross yet again, so this hold from the CT is pretty much standard, but for them, Fobless and Pit sinned by Toxic Barrels, and Fabian back by CT Cross. Damos down to 60. He's going to get dropped by Fobless. Fabian with an 8 on Sav. Fobless gets another one with the Scar 20 before being traded out by SLI, so it's now on Shifty and SLI. Fabian, Robbie, and Salmo trying to stop this round from happening here. Bomb gets planted, and now it's the retake here. All three CTs already in the site. Nades and Flash is raining out. There's a man in canal. That's Shifty. Shifty taken out, so now it's on SLI behind this smoke. Needs to peek through and spot out this diffuser. It's not going to happen. Fabian takes him down, so now the score 13-2 in favor of DWG. And that's the score you just don't want to see if you are moving over to the CT side on this map. Yeah, exactly. You drop pistol. You can't even make it to that rifle round with this kind of score line, so... Not exactly the spot you want to find yourself in as three rounds. That's all they need on this T side. Hyper needs to go massive on this pistol round if they want any chance of staying in here. And quite honestly, they need to go through that pistol round, make it through the anti-ecos, make it to the rifle round, get through the rifle round, and then thereafter start building a bank in a way that they can buy even if DWG takes a round. That is their best case scenario. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Again, Hyper picked this map. So I imagine they're going to have a strong CT setup. And I'm excited to see how they work in this pistol round. We are just waiting for the ready up. And in the meantime, we'll do a little bit of plugs. Our Facebook giveaway going on. It is almost coming to a close as February 15th is quickly approaching. And that will be the end of that giveaway. We'll announce the winner of our GTX 960, courtesy of Cyberware on that date. But uh, the prerequisites to enter that giveaway, just jump onto Facebook. Go ahead and like our RGN page, as well as Cyberware LLC. That is the only prerequisite to the giveaway. And again, we'll be announcing that winner at the end of our broadcast. Uh, one giveaway we're doing today, though, is our follower giveaway. It's our Minimal Wear Electric Hive AWP. That is to all followers. So make sure you guys don't just X out of the stream as soon as this match comes to a close. If you want a chance to win, all you need to do is be following the channel, and we'll let you guys know what keyword you need to be typing in to enter in. But we'll definitely be doing that at the end of the broadcast, so stick around for that. But uh, we are just waiting for... I believe it is... Let's see, Shifty has dropped out once again, so a little bit of a delay in between halves as I don't know if he's just reconnecting or what's going on there. They haven't said anything in chat, so we're not really sure what's going on, but uh, anyhow, just waiting, and then we'll be jumping into that oh-so-important second pistol round for Hyper.
One thing I'm really curious to see here is, uh, again, the pistol round setup from Hyper. Do they get aggressive, or how does that work out? And, again, DWG, we haven't seen what they have on their T side. Hyper opted to go B a lot of the time. And I feel like out of most of the matches I've seen, the, uh, the, the T side, they will go B once in a while, but A is definitely, especially previous to the changes we're seeing due to at uh, Long here, a lot of the teams would opt to take that A site purely because of the changes they made to expand the radius of where you can plant things. So you can smoke front site, get a plant down, and then fall back. You don't even need to take control of the site. You can fall back into restrooms, Long, that kind of thing, and play from there, so... We'll see what they opt to go for, but uh, we did watch my KPV versus Planet Key Dynamics earlier today. I was casting that, and on Overpass, we saw my KPV kind of do a lot of fakes where they're putting a lot of pressure on A, but then falling back to B, and vice versa. We didn't see, uh, we, we saw some rotates, obviously, but uh, not a ton of fakes coming out from the Hyper lineup. So, how does DWG play it? They only need three rounds to put things away. It will be interesting as it does look like Shifty's back in the match and we are going live here. The oh-so-important pistol round about to get started. Yeah, and it looks like DWG is poised to take this in 2-0 fashion unless Hyper can pull off an insane comeback here on Overpass and take us to map number three. But right now, things definitely looking good for DWG as they're going to be moving into the pistol round here. Round number 16 about to get underway. And again, sorry for the delays tonight, guys. Multiple issues. I mean, it's just one issue on top of another. Players disconnecting, issues with servers. It's just, it's been one of those nights for us. But we are here. We are live. And it looks like DWG is opting for a quick B play right now. Multiple players out. Short pipe already. Flash over the site. SLI is going to get the first one. That is Salmo down. Gets the second as well. Toop there to take out Robbie 1. SLI finally ended by Fobless. It's now 4v2 though. So Fobless and Fabian here going to do what they can. Fobless is going to get sad. Fabian gets shifty. But finally Hyper ending the pistol round. And a must win situation for them. As they're going to yeah. go up now one more round and prevent a potential end of the game here. Because the pistol round would have put DWG at 14 rounds facing two Ecos. So obviously they would have been in a position to just completely take the map. Yeah, and the big player there would be SLI playing from Toxic Barrels. It's actually not uh, too common that you see uh, the T's rushing into sight and not really peeking towards Toxic. The first man in, he just went right up the ramp trying to breach sight and... Because of that, SLI got two uh, really nice headshots with his USP, but this is not the way you want to have an anti-eco go. SLI needs to come up big here once again, and Shifty goes down, SLI down. It's all up to Deimos and his Deagle, and I can't believe you would pick up a Deagle on your anti-eco that is keeping you in the match. Like, I'm almost mad at that. Why would he pick up a Deagle in that situation? That is beyond me. It's been something that I've been scratching my head at the whole game. Is Hyper's tendency to gravitate towards the Deagle. I just can't make sense of it. it well, he wants an op it, inevitably, but you don't have the luxury to go for that there. It's just, ugh. Well, if you're going to do brain. anything, pick up a CZ or pick up a, you know, a, a light submachine gun. Something, a Deagle is just so unreliable and go, and it doesn't really suit the round that you're facing because you know it's going to be a full bore rush or you're going to get overwhelmed by the one guy that buys a Mac 10 or something. It's just, it's also it, that it's expensive. It's really not that cheap. Like, if you want to try and save for the off, that's all fine and dandy. Pick up a P250, go for a 5.7. The Deagle is still very expensive, so I just don't understand the mentality behind that. And as I say that, there's three on the board this round already for Hyper. Yep, and again, we'll see if they can make it work here, but definitely going to be difficult. We saw Sav getting a nice frag boosted up over the wall towards construction, but the B site, once again, the one of contention, and we'll see if they can hold here on that CT side. SLI goes down, Deimos putting some bullets into these Ts, but even at this distance, if you're not getting headshots, not getting a lot of damage in, but we'll see some frags coming up. It's all up to Deimos now in a 1v2. He's trying to get Robbie. Finally, he hits that shot, but even on that, you can see his crosshair placement, at least on my uh, screen, it was 
down near his leg. It was one of the four shots and just bounced up and got the headshot. So regardless, he does get the frag, but with 16 HP here, he needs to hit the shot of his life. As he will oh, hit it, are you kidding goodness. me? Are you wow. joking me right now? They just, they, some, one of these guys just got a private message. He's like, hey man, the caster's on the stream. They're, they're totally talking badly about your deagle play. You, you guys should totally show him up. And that he does. Damon goes massive and gets that one D. And that's going to put them in a good position. Not great position, obviously, because it's a 14 to 4 score line, but definitely some life still on that CT side. I would hope, though, that that doesn't give them more faith in their Deagle because that's one of the things that's been <laughs> killing like, them no, I is, got those. is yeah. buying the Deagles. It's hurting their money, it's hurting their rounds. And we're going to see things start off here as Sav taking out Fabulous before Fabian comes in and trades him out. Say 4v4, Sin with the Tech 9, the rest have AKs, SLI on a P250, but he does have a defuse and some nades, so not necessarily too bad of a buy here. He's going to be watching Short Pipe from the side, and I kind of wish he kept that angle here as the smoke's about to fade, and it looks like there's two players about to walk their way into B. And he's going to get spotted out if he's not careful. That is Salmo taking him down. So here comes the push into B. Salmo gets two. Toop and SLI down. Put some damage onto his teammate before the smokes rain out into sight. There's a man in upper right now trying to do what he can here. He's going to get into a duel and take out Robbie 1. So now it's a 2v3 retake. Shifty wrapping around, coming up towards CT Cross. Deimos still in heaven trying to find the angle on these players in sight. Shifty knows there's a man in the pit. Doesn't matter. Deimos takes him down. So now it's a 1v2. And unfortunately, Shifty's going to go down. So now 15 to 4 is the score line. And it looks like the money on Team Hyper is going to force them to eco. They're obviously going to try and get whatever they can. But 15 to 4, I think they kind of know exactly what situation this is. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them kind of just get over aggressive here, take duels they don't need to take. And the score could probably, or most probably, will end 16 4 in favor of DWG. And with Shifty, he picks up his Nova, which is named Betty, and I got faith in Betty here, so <laughs> let's see if Hyper can make it work. He's going to be moving down the stairwell, Sin close on the other side here, but the first frag going to Fabla, Sin will spot off the barrel here of Shifty. Can he get the frag? He gets it, Betty going big, and he will pick up that AK-47 for it, so a 4v4 here, and SLI gets one, Shifty with another, so it looks like they are not done yet. I want to continue fighting and bringing us some entertainment as Sav hits another Deeg. And it's all up to Fabian in a 1v4. He's going to peek out and won't be able to get anything done here. So, Betty coming up big. <laughs> but Nova, I just think that's super awesome. I've learned that if I want a team to win, I just need to say that they're going to lose. You know, Hyper, yeah, cast they were cast. in a position that was pretty difficult. I mean, they're down 11 rounds. It's already match point for DWG. And they were on an eco. I mean, it's it's not that you give up, but you just get in this mindset. It's like, okay, you know what? Like, uh, there's we we lost. You kind of just get in that idea. Like, y you don't necessarily say it out loud, but your play displays the fact that you know you're going to lose the game. And you see it from a lot of teams. They kind of just they kind of give up in the sense that they they get overly aggressive in that final round. They take peaks they don't need to take. They try to win duels, and it falls apart for them. Instead, though, Hyper goes for that Nova on the hallway, and it, it works out. Shifty picks up an AK, gets two with uh, one with the Nova, one with the AK, so a decent round from him. Right now, though, the top fragger for Hyper is SLI, and he's got double the closest man, which is actually Sav. Actually, Damo's at nine, so not quite double, but still a, an impressive performance from him. On the other side, we have Salmo at 25 and 8, and Fabless just behind at 22 and 10, so... You can see what's separating these two teams right now. The duel's just going the way of DWG, but here comes the push from DWG, and they're going to take down Shifty early in that bomb site. Damos has to come up big, Sav helping him out, but Damos is only able to get one before Sin drops him. Fabulous with the Tech 9 takes out Sav, so now it looks like it could end on an eco here. So how disappointing to see Hyper do what they just did and then potentially lose here. It's a 1v3, he goes for the peak, and that is exactly what happened. So Hyper pulls off an impressive eco round and extends the map but unfortunately loses to an eco round 16 to 5 is the scoreline 2-0 for the match tonight dwg taking it over hyper yeah they they heard you on that one and they're like no we're gonna put one more on the board before <laughs> before we lose so buck has to be proved wrong that's how it goes being a caster you call one thing and the opposite occurs so anyhow though 2-0
DWG taking it as uh, Falk was just explaining. So they move forward in our upper bracket here. I'm just curious as to who they're actually going to meet up with. Um, as I look that up, just a heads up, we are going to be announcing that Twitter giveaway winner shortly here. So again, the M4A4 Asimov. It is available courtesy of uh, myself, which actually it came from one one of my lovely viewers. So thanks again to uh, Rift Smoke is his new name. But uh, looks like DWG they're going to be facing Paradox in their next match. So we uh, we saw an impressive performance for them against Hyper. How do they fare against Paradox? Is the question. Paradox, one of the teams that they have looked solid and uh, they made it through a lot of teams that people didn't expect in our last tournament. So definitely one of the teams to look out for as uh, that's going to be their next hurdle to get across and of course the other team in hyper will drop down to the lower bracket looks like noble esports is the team that they'll face off against so that is going to be it for our broadcast tonight guys other than our giveaway of course of the minimore electric hive i almost forgot but almost is uh yeah it, it does it, yeah we're gonna do the giveaway guys we're gonna do the giveaway so just give us a couple minutes here to figure out what we're gonna do for the keyword and such and again it's not too late you click follow on the channel uh, we will definitely uh, include you in that giveaway. So hang tight here as we get the keyword ready. And then we will do that Minimore Electric Hive AWP. And then, of course, on Twitter, we'll be announcing the M4A4 Asimov one shortly after. So stay tuned, guys. We're doing the follower giveaway in just a couple minutes. But um, I do believe I might just be jumping back in here alone. Bach, where can they find you on the intertubes? You can find me in the Twitter sphere over at Bach underscore TV. That's at Bach underscore TV. I would really appreciate the follow, and I'm probably going to be live streaming after this as well. Same name. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash Bach underscore TV. You can pop in and say hello. Not even sure what I'm going to be doing at this point. It is already almost 1 a.m. my time, so the delays definitely kicked my stream back a little bit further than I anticipated. But feel free to stop in and say hello. I would really appreciate it. For sure. Make sure you guys go check out his stream and... Uh... It's definitely a stud, so you might be locked to your monitor as soon as you get in there. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but we are going to take a really short break um, while we figure out what's going on with the giveaway. So, don't go anywhere, guys. When I return, I'll let you guys know what the keyword is.
All right, guys, so we do have our keyword set up. And uh, it is going to be exclamation mark RGN. God, aren't we original? At least it's not exclamation mark raffle. It's not raffle, guys. It's not. Stop. Please stop. It is exclamation mark RGN. So uh, feel free to type that in, and you will be entered into the giveaway. You need to be following to win. And on top of that, we're going to roll your name. As soon as we roll, we need you to talk inside of chat. So if uh, any mods can hear me, I'm sure everybody can hear me because, um, yeah, I'm just, that's a silly question. Make sure you guys turn off slow mode just so we have, um, we have uh, everybody able to respond once we actually announce the winner. So again, exclamation mark RGN is the giveaway keyword. That is a minimal wear AWP electric hive. Beautiful. Could be no scoping fools like no tomorrow. And uh, again, just exclamation mark RGN to enter in. We're going to leave that open for a minute here. And uh, we will be announcing that winner shortly. So again, to everybody who does not win, because inevitably we'll have only one winner. Thank you very much, guys. We really do appreciate all the support. We couldn't be doing this all without you. Um, that's just plain and simple the way it goes. So we really do appreciate all the support. You guys have been far too kind. And uh, we will continue to give back to you guys because we love you. So 20 seconds left in this giveaway. And we will be announcing the winner. And as well as that, obviously, the Twitter giveaway. I believe they're announcing that very, very soon. So again, if you see your name pop up as the winner, be ready to type in chat once we... We'll change it to sub mode just to announce the winner. That's been done right now. Here we go. And then as soon as we put it back off sub mode, if, well, depending on if a subscriber wins or not, that's the thing. It's all followers, so subs can definitely win. Uh, but uh, it is going to be... You can see the name. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, you guys can see the name down there. I just have to... <laughs> I'm just not saying it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sure you think your name is very creative. And you know what? I Props that uh, that, that you have that name. But hey -o! <laughs> And he types right away. So, he's not a bot. That is going to be our winner there. And, um... Something to do with the restroom is his name, so... <laughs> Congratulations, you have won the Electric Hive, and uh, he did respond, so he's won, and that is going to be it for tonight, guys. So again, thank you very much. Congratulations, brother. You're going to be opping noobs like no other. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So our next match is uh, to be determined. I believe we're going to have matches on Sunday, Friday... Well, Friday, Saturday, we usually don't have any broadcasts, so Sunday should be our next event. Event. Make sure you guys uh, follow us on Twitter. Just go RGN TV and such. Um, well, you're probably already following because of that Asimov giveaway um, that we're doing shortly here. But if you're not, make sure you guys check that out, as that will be where we're posting all the updates when the next match is decided. So we will be letting you know, and uh, should be up on Lounge as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Sunday should be the next broadcast. We'll have EU and NA matches then, I imagine. So, guys, that will be it for tonight, though. Congratulations to the follower winner. We'll be announcing the Twitter winner giveaway in uh, just a few minutes after the broadcast ends here. But that will be it from everybody here at RGN. We hope you have a good one, and we'll see you again real soon.